physics concepts. We have just completed developing the model of the consciousness-based cosmos. The following are the key features of the model. 1. Time, space, matter and energy are appearances in consciousness. They are apparently real but not physically real. 2. Space is infinite and continuous. 3. Space is perpetually recreated. 4. Each recreation of space is instantaneous. 5. Time is discrete. These features are very different from a physically real cosmos model. They have huge implications on how the model conceptualizes and defines some of the basic physical quantities such as distance, time, velocity and mass. This will be discussed below. However, before we proceed further, we also need to make a few more observations regarding the appearances of space and time in the consciousness-based model. The appearance of space is only required if there are matter or energy in the cosmos. If there is no matter or energy present, space is redundant. The appearance of time is only required if there is an apparent change in the cosmos. If there is no change, time is redundant. Motion and Velocity To illustrate how the model conceptualizes motion, let's consider a simple case of a particle P moving from point A to point B. The distance between A and B is D and the time taken is T. What is the velocity V of the particle? For this simple motion to happen in the model, there must be at least two appearances of the cosmos. Let's call them C1 and C2. C1 will appear instantaneously with P at A, followed by the instantaneous appearance of C2 with P at B. Note that even though P has apparently changed position from A to B, there is no real movement of P. What happened is, there is an instantaneous change in the position from A to B with the appearances of C1 followed by C2. What then is the distance travelled by P? It can be interpreted in two ways. Real distance is equal to zero because there is no real motion. Apparent distance is equal to small t. In a similar way, the apparent time taken for this change in P's position from A to B can also be viewed in two ways. Real time is equal to zero, since the creation of the cosmos in both instances is instantaneous. Apparent time equal to small t. Thus, the velocity of P can be calculated in four different ways. Real distance divided by real time. 0 divided by 0, this is undefined. Real distance divided by apparent time. 0 divided by small t, which is equal to 0. Apparent distance divided by real time. Small d divided by 0, this is infinity. And lastly, apparent distance divided by apparent time. This is equal to small v. What this implies is, the velocity of any apparently moving particle is actually undefined and can take on a value ranging from zero to infinity. It can be given any arbitrary value depending on whatever arbitrary values that is given to the apparent distance as well as the apparent time of the motion. So the next logical question to ask is, does the model necessitates a maximum limit to the velocity? The answer is it does. There is a need to impose a maximum velocity to prevent ambiguity in position and velocity of particles. This is explained as follows. Let's consider for the moment there is a maximum speed, small c, for a particle q which travels from point c to point d. If there is no limit to the velocity, then the motion from C to D can also be achieved by Q traveling to and fro between C and D 
with a velocities of 3c, 5c, 7c and so on. This will of course create ambiguities as to what actually happens to the particle. When a maximum is imposed on the velocity, it means that between two subsequent appearances of the cosmos, there is a minimum on the apparent time and there is a maximum on the apparent distance in a motion of a particle. What are these values? They are quite arbitrary. Perhaps Planck's time and Planck's length. Mass as defined by general relativity is the physical quantity that warps or changes the curvature of space-time, which is assumed to be continuous. In the consciousness-based model, space is continuous, but time is quantized. So as far as the model is concerned, there is a need to modify general relativity equation by quantizing the time. Can this be done with the current knowledge in mathematics? As far as the author understands, there are two main branches in mathematics, continuous and discrete. Perhaps there is a need to come up with a new theory in mathematics which combines both of these branches. Quantum Mechanics Many of the controversies and difficulties encountered in quantum mechanics can be traced to two issues, the role of consciousness and the continuous discrete duality. Consciousness is considered a secondary byproduct of a physically real world. How insentient physical processes can give rise to subjective consciousness remains an issue that cannot be explained. It is therefore not surprising that when consciousness becomes a factor, for example in the collapse of the wave function, it is regarded as an anomaly. Such is not the case for the consciousness-based model. Collapse of the wave function by consciousness is a non-issue. Consciousness is regarded in the model as primary. Indeed, it is the source of the entire appearance of the cosmos. Thus, it is obvious that it would play a significant role in the collapse of the wave function. Continuous discrete duality This issue is reflected in the wave particle duality. How is it that a discrete particle can be a wave at the same time? This continuous discrete duality is not an issue in the consciousness-based model. Time, space, matter and energy are not physically real. A particle in a model is not a material particle. So too is a wave. So despite the fact that a particle is discrete and a wave is continuous, both are creations of consciousness in consciousness. They are not really different from one another. We can say that they are made from the same consciousness stuff. Action at a distance The action at a distance phenomenon was labelled as spooky by Einstein because if the distance is far enough, the speed of light constant could be exceeded. This will violate the very principle of special relativity. This is not an issue at all in the consciousness-based model. The now characteristic of consciousness implies that any perception by consciousness is always immediate. No time is taken at all. Indeed, time itself is a creation in consciousness. Let's take for example the case of two entangled particles with either the left or right spin. When one particle is perceived by consciousness as having a left spin, that must automatically mean that the other is perceived as having a right spin. This is a matter of perception in consciousness, which is immediate. It has nothing to do with information having to travel from one particle to the other. So the question of the speed of light being violated doesn't arise at all. Thus, as far as consciousness is concerned, it doesn't matter how far apart these particles are in terms of space and time. The perception doesn't take time. It is always immediate. Uncertainty Principle The uncertainty principle can be readily explained by the consciousness-based model. Let's return to the example of a particle P moving from A to B. If the position of P is determined in C1, then its velocity can't be determined exactly 
since it would also require the appearance of C2 which has yet to occur. This is due to the quantized nature of time in the model. The appearance of the cosmos is moment to moment. Similarly, if the velocity of P is confirmed, uh, then it would mean that both C1 and C2 are needed. As such, the position then become uncertain.